Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to design this pop-up model or pop-up ad using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first of all, let me show you how it works. Here we can see this is a normal web page and here we have the heading and all this content over here. Now if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that our model is displayed over here and we also have this skip in displayed over here and after 5 seconds we are able to skip this uh, ad. So if I click on skip, it goes away. So this is what we're going to design in this tutorial series. Now in the first video we'll just write the HTML. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so here I have created this folder called pop-up ad and uh, I just opened it with VS Code. Now in this we already have a folder called images where we have these uh, images which we're going to use in our project. Now first of all let's go ahead and start creating the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create an HTML file. I'll just name it index.html and let's also create a CSS file. Let's name it style.css and we'll also create a JavaScript file. So let's name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Alright, let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and here in the SRF I'll just type style.css and we'll also link our JavaScript file over here in the body. So let's type script colon src and here I'll just type main.js. Now first of all let's add this dummy content. So we have a heading and we have some paragraphs. So for that let's create a division with a class of page content. Now this will be the content that the page already has. But here we are creating this dummy content so that we can test the scroll. So first let's create an h1. I'll just type heading of the page. And let's add some paragraphs. So I'll just type p to create a paragraph tag. And in VS Code you have the shortcut where you can just uh, type lorem. And you can type the number of words. So if I just type 30 and press tab, you will have 30 words of uh, random text. Let's add one more paragraph and let's type lorem 50 and we have 50 words of random text. I'll just copy this and paste it a couple more times. All right, that's basically it with the dummy content. Now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension installed called live server. Now if you have this installed then you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And now we can see that our content is displayed over here in the browser. Now let's start with the HTML of this uh, pop-up. So let's go back to our HTML and uh, let's go outside this page content division. Now for the pop-up we'll create a division with a class of pop-up container to contain all these elements. So let's create a division with a class of pop-up container. Now if you take a look at the pop-up, we can see that we also have this overlay over the content of the page. So we have this dark background. So for that let's create a division with a class of pop-up overlay outside this pop-up container division. So let's create a division with a class of pop-up overlay. And in that we will have this pop-up container division. Right now in the pop-up container division we need to have two sections we have the left section where we have the image and these two shapes over here and then we have this content where we have the text the skip button and this button so let's go back and let's create a division with the class of left and we'll also create a division with the class of right now in the left we need to have these three images we have this image right here then we have the next image and then we have the main image over here so let's create an img tag and let's type images forward slash and we have these uh, images over here. Let's select BG2, which is uh, this image right here. And let's create one more IMG tag and let's type images forward slash BG1.png. And then lastly, we have the main image. So let's type IMG and in the SRC, I'll just type images forward slash and it is called hero image.png. Now, if you go back to our browser, here we can see these are all the images of our design. Right now let's design the right section where we have all this content. So inside the right division, first of all let's add the skip button. So let's create a division with the class of skip button. And in that we will have some text. So let's tap skip in and we'll have 5 seconds. 
and we will change the seconds dynamically using JavaScript. All right, the next thing we need to have is this text right here, live blogger. So for that, let's create a paragraph and we'll give it a class of logo. And let's type live blogger. And then after that, we need to have this heading. So for that, let's create an H2 and let's give it a class of pop-up heading. And here we need to type design course. And then we need to have another paragraph for this text right here. So let's create a paragraph and let's give it a class of description. And I'll just copy this text and let's paste it over here. And the last thing we need to have is this button. So let's create an anchor tag. This is basically a link. So when we click on this button, we need to get to a page. So for that, let's create an anchor tag. And here I'll just type hash for now. You can add the link of your page over here. And let's also add a class and let's give it a class of button. And uh, here I'll just type visit site. But right now we can see all the elements are displayed over here. We have the images and all this text over here. And here we also have this anchor tag and we'll style it to make it look like a button. Now the last thing we will do in this video is add the link of the font. So here I'm in fonts.google.com and the font that we need is called railway. So let's search for the font. Let's type railway. And this is the font. So let's click on it. And we need to have two styles. We need to have the regular version. And we also need to have this bold version. And I think for the button we have a semi bold version. So let's get these three styles. So let's select regular 400. And we also need to select semi bold. And then lastly we need to select this bold 700. Right now is click on this button called view selected families. And uh, if we scroll down, we can see that we have the link that we can add into our HTML. So let's copy this link from here. And let's go back to our HTML and in the head section, I'll just paste the link of the font. Right, so that's basically it with the HTML of our design. Now in the next video, we will add some CSS and make it look like this. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.